Hi and welcome to this sixth tutorial in a series which shows you how to create an Angry Birds style game using Scratch. Now in this tutorial we're going to focus on what happens when the bird hits the pig because at the moment we've got a game that works. I can launch my bird but as you can see nothing happens when I hit the pig so it's not much of a game. So first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select my pig sprite, I'm going to select pig1 because this is the code needs to apply to the pig. And I'm going to use the control block, so as usual start it when the game starts and then I'm going to put a forever loop in because the, the things that are happening here I want them to continue to happen all the way through the game and what I'm basically going to look for is to see if the bird touches the pig when it's flying through the air so I'm going to put an if block in there and go to sensing and I'm looking for touching angry bird and then what I want to happen is I need to change the score by a hundred so it's variables change score by 100 so let's see whether that works Ah, right now that did work but there's a couple of problems first of all my score has gone up to 700 because it's detected that I've hit every single part of the pig as it's kind of flown through it and also the pig is still there so I need to do something that will solve both of those problems and it's very simple that as soon as the bird hits the pig I'm going to make the pig disappear so I'm just going to put for my looks blocks I'm going to put hide in there and that will make the pig disappear as soon as the bird hits it so what you should notice there it's disappeared and the pig only gets hit once now the problem I've got is if I run the game now even from the start of the game it's not there so what I need to do is I need to run I need to add another block here a show block and that will mean that when the game starts it makes sure the pig is visible so let's run that again and now let's put it back so fly through there stop the game run it again now that's all the code that we need it's very straightforward but we need to apply exactly the same code to the second pig sprite so the easiest way of doing that is just to drag the code over the top of pig 2 and you notice I've just copied that across the pig too. So if I now run that game again, there it works for both pigs. Now the final little touch I'm going to do is something that I forgot to do in the previous video, which is just after we launched the game, uh, launched the bird, just put a little sound effect in, and that's just one simple command so I'm just going to finish off by putting play sound um, and that's going to go in to there I don't want to put angry birds there we go angry birds birds so if I run that now what should happen put the volume up on my Think so you can hear it. There we go. So we've now got a working game where we can get rid of both our pigs. Adds the score, but we haven't worked out what happens if we win or lose the game. So what happens if you run out of pig, run out of birds, or you get rid of both the pigs? And that is what we will do in our next tutorial. 